Hi there. Today we will see how the ASP.NET Core Session State Management works. HTTP is stateless, that means every request to the HTTP is treated as an independent one. There are several ways to preserve the user data between the HTTP requests. 1. HTTP Context Example, the username will be fetched from HTTP context.user.identity.name. The next one is session items, this is based on iService collection. And the next one is cookies. Cookies is a local browser storage which is widely used in at most all the web-based applications. And the next one is query strings. Query strings are URL-based state management, the data is visible to the plain site so we are not supposed to pass any private data through this, and the data volume is limited. The next one is hidden fields. Hidden fields, stored locally in the browser, unlike cookies this is persistent until the page lives. If the user traverses to another page this value will be disappeared. Next one is temp data. Temp data, across actions or views but only to the same controller, if it is used then the data will be last until the last usage. Thanks for watching. Please visit oneonindu.com for technical articles.